Aloha. So I'm sitting here in front of my budget setup that's got a couple extra bells and whistles now. There's a new monitor on it because I found a ridiculous sale on a 34-inch curved monitor. 200 bucks, brand new, couldn't go wrong. Um, but I wanted to talk about, I'll say one of the downsides of, of getting into this hobby. I don't see a lot of videos about this side of it, and that's the software updates and troubleshooting you could end up doing just to get your, your, your home sim up and running. My more complicated, my more um, involved setup, which has the 355-inch monitors, is not functional right now. There were multiple updates simultaneously, and like an idiot, I set my system up to do updates. Um, there was a Windows update. There was the, the, the update by uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator. There was an update in SPAD Next. There was an update in NVIDIA. There, were, there was a slew of updates, and now my system, which is the high-end system, which has the 3080 Ti, the Ryzen 7, uh, 32 gig of memory, it will not stay on for more than two to three minutes at a time. It actually, you power it up, and it reboots itself. It, it will not stay functional. So. I'm still troubleshooting that. It's it's painful to troubleshoot. I actually just restored it to all win uh, at the baseline of Windows. I restored from from nothing, and I'm trying to rebuild the system again. And even with nothing on it, it still is exhibiting the problems after uh, the software updates. So it's definitely uh, if you get into this hobby. There's going to be frustration at some points, and I don't think a lot of videos talk about that. There's, there's driver issues you're going to run into. There's software compatibility issues you're going to run into. And what I've learned after trying to reach out for help is no company will assist you because each company is going to defend their product. When you, when you ask, hey, in your recent update, is there anything that could have caused my symptoms? Of course not. The answer is always no. So every single company um, from Asobo, Slant Microsoft, to NVIDIA, to uh, the guys for Air Manager, Air Manager, Simtronics, everybody has said, our software can't do that. Our software can't cause that. One of them did. One of them did because this computer is running the same Windows update that my computer downstairs was running. So I, I don't think it was the Windows update, which brings us to the Microsoft Flight Simulator. It brings us to NVIDIA. It brings us to some other software causing an issue. Um, the big delta here is, this is an old AMD video card. Downstairs, it was an NVIDIA video card. So it could very well be an NVIDIA driver issue. I don't know. But I kind of wanted to touch on this because if you get into this hobby, just be prepared. People don't talk about this enough. They don't. People put out videos about flying and all the fun that you can have, but they don't talk about the frustration it takes to get to the fun point sometimes. So I just wanted to throw this out there to let you know there is a lot of frustration that goes into this. I'm living that that frustration right now. My saving grace, if you will, is that I have this secondary setup. So for me, if I do want to fly, I can at least come up here. And while I'm troubleshooting that one, I may take off the uh, the SciTech yoke and put my uh, my Honeycomb Alpha up here because my, my Honeycomb Alpha is just a phenomenal, phenomenal flight yoke. I can't say enough good things about it. And it's far better than the SciTech yoke here. So I, I may end up doing that. Uh, but just a quick video. I wanted to throw this out there because, again, I don't think people talk about issues enough. Uh, my recommendation is if you get into this hobby... Don't do what I did. Um, when there is a slew of updates, take one update at a time and actually bring it in, run it for at least a few days, stress it out. I mean, when I say stress it, I mean like run it at the highest graphical settings possible, you know, under the biggest load you can so that the stress test will expose any weaknesses. And that way, if you do them one at a time, when one finally does cause an issue, you know which one it is. I'm learning from my own mistakes. 
I didn't do that. So please be smarter than me and uh, learn from my mistakes. Um, thanks for watching. I really hope that helps somebody. But I wanted to touch on something that I just don't think gets enough attention. And I will throw out other videos as I hopefully figure out what's going on with that other PC. But thanks for watching and stay safe and you know happy flying out there.